Hello and welcome back to the course. I want to show you real quick uh, what stickers on Etsy look like and uh, how, is, how easy it's going to be for you to create these and how much these people are actually selling. Okay, so if we type in stickers on Etsy, you'll see a ton of results come up. Okay, lots and lots of stickers. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to dive deep into the niches and find some that have uh, low competition and a ton of search volume, okay? So don't be afraid right now, you'll see tons of shops with hundreds of stickers and with 18,000 reviews and all the rest of it. Let's just dive into some of these, take a look. 9,000 sales, simple little stickers. This is stuff that Mid Journey can pump out for you on autopilot all day long, okay? Super easy to create. 30 custom, 50 custom stickers, whatever, 15,969 sales. This person is selling customized dog stickers, okay? 6,600 sales. I think we already saw this one. Check these one out, these, these out. 148,000 sales. For these stickers. Okay, these are pretty simple little graphics. 50 cool black and white goth laptop stickers. All of these are black and white, by the way. So easy to create a mid journey, you wouldn't believe. Okay, 75,000 sales. These simple three little skeleton stickers, something that you can do in two minutes or in one minute using mid journey to create these for you. Okay, just dancing skeletons. 5,000 sales. And now, this little secret niche, frog stickers, okay? People are going crazy for frog stickers. Who would have thought? I surely wouldn't have. Okay, 23,000 sales for these little frog stickers. Why are these so hot? I have no clue. But let's head over to eRank my favorite research tool for Etsy, and just take a look. Okay, E-Rank um, is free to use, very limited. I recommend at least, uh, I think it's like $4 or $5 a month. You can get E-Rank uh, Pro, I think it is, and it lets you do a ton of uh, niche research for Etsy. So I typed in stickers, searching in Etsy. Okay, you can also do research on even Walmart and Target. That's crazy, okay. So look for Etsy, most of the traffic's from the US. As you can see, um, tons of search volume, tons and tons. A lot of click-through rate, everyone's clicking on these stickers to buy them, but there's a lot of competition in most of these niches, okay? So we have to look for uh, the lower competition niches. Like maybe you could get into trouble offering Pokemon stickers. I know people just sell these uh, regardless of copyright issues, but I would not recommend it. You don't want to get yourself into a lawsuit. So let's scroll down. Disney stickers. It's probably a no-go. Wax seal stickers. This could be one. It's a good niche, probably. But the ones that we're looking for are different. Sailor Moon is a popular Japanese anime series, so you probably can't do that. K-pop stickers, okay. Frog stickers, there you go. High search volume, okay. 115% click-through rate and low competition compared to all the other niches. Okay, there's some other ones. For example, meme stickers could be another one. Okay, you could do those. But uh, we're looking at frog stickers right now because they're super easy to create. Um, Mid Journey does an amazing job at creating these for you. And there's low competition, so we want to dive right into this niche. Okay. So I hope you're excited for this. Okay, since these stickers sell like crazy. Okay, low competition, high search volume, and Mid Journey is going to create them for you. Okay. So inside of here, I'm going to show you in just a minute how you can create tons of these stickers in a matter of seconds, okay? You'll see how amazing this is. 
So without further ado, I'll see you in the next video and we'll start creating our very first sticker.